You think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I should prep those scrambled eggs. should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him.
only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for... Uh, well, don't worry about it. I can manage alone. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead. A little further on. Thanks. Hey, Lauren! I found it! Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October. drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. 
Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Going too fast. He never waits for me. Construction site is empty. Come on! Don't run through this big pipe. If you can make it, so can I. I think you went down here. I can do it all right. Just watch.
Holy cow, he's crazy. We could break our necks doing this. I am scared. If he can do it, I can do it. Move your ass, I'm waiting. It's time to look dead. Try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, help. 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 Post cries. That's John's voice. John! My foot. My foot is stuck. Grab on! I'll put it out there. Kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a park full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> There she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. There's nothing else for us here. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? John Shepard's grave. 